guys, welcome back to another episode of How To Style. Today's episode we are styling white t-shirts. I got so inspired by a few of you um, in my last video, started a thread about how you wish I would style white t-shirts. So I was like, oh, that's such a good idea, I have to do it. So that is what I'm doing today. Let me just start by talking about the white t-shirt for a second. I think you can have too many white t-shirts. I did a super big closet clean out about a year ago and I got rid of two thirds of my closet. I had 10 trash bags that I took to Goodwill, I'm not joking you, and I had probably 15 white t-shirts. You should only have white t-shirts that you love. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be styling a scoop neck, a high neck, and a boyfriend t-shirt, so something a little bit more oversized. Just a quick tip that I also have for you guys, I recommend folding down your white t-shirts. I feel that when they hang, the, the shoulders get stretched out, and that's just for any t-shirt, but I feel like white, you can see it the most. You know, you get those little hanger marks, and then they just start to hang weird and they don't fit right. For this look, I am styling this oversized white cotton t-shirt from Brandy Melville. I have about three t-shirts from Brandy Melville that I constantly live in. This top is a little too long to do the tucked in look because it gets a little bunchy, so I always leave this top out. I am styling it with a long duster blazer. Kind of see the bottom. And a pair of blue ripped knee skinny jeans from Zara. I wanted to make this outfit a little bit more dressy, so I am adding a simple ankle strap heel to it. Uh, these are from Steve Madden. They're obviously my <laughs> go to ankle strap heels. I've like almost worn them out completely. I need to get a new pair. This is honestly a look that you can do so much with. In the winter, you can take these away and add a pair of leather pants. For work, you can take the duster away and add a blazer. Or you could even add some black flats to it instead of the heel if you wanna do something super casual. There's just so many different things that you can do with this whole outfit. The next t-shirt I'm gonna be styling is this one from Forever 21. And this is a thick, almost sweater-like t-shirt. I don't know if you can tell. I'm styling it with a pair of black joggers from Forever 21. And I decided to make this look a little bit more casual, so I'm gonna add a white sneaker to it. Obviously, with this outfit, you can add a heel and a blazer for work. You can add a heel for going out or sandals just for casual daytime. This is something that I would wear to go to a coffee shop to work or to go to the airport or you know, if I'm just walking around and wanna be comfortable, this is my go-to outfit. I'm also gonna add a denim jacket to this outfit just to add a little bit of color because it is so black and white. If it were so hot outside, I would probably do a plaid shirt and tie it around my waist or a denim shirt and tie it around my waist. So this just kind of shows what the outfit looks all tied together. As you can see, it would be a little bit too black and white if I didn't add the denim jacket. The next shirt I'm gonna be styling is this one from Zara and this is one of my newer white t-shirts but I have been like living in it. It's a high neck, which is great for when you're layering with overalls or um, like a black dress. You want to have something with a high neck so it doesn't compete with the line of the overall or the dress that you're laying, layering it under. I'm adding a pair of high-waisted denim shorts from Topshop. And since we're still in summer, that's why I went with the light wash versus a dark wash or a black. Really trying to squeeze, you know, my last <laughs> my end of summer outfit. And for my third piece, I'm gonna add a printed bomber jacket. Since that outfit is so plain, um, you know, it's just a, a simple shorts and t-shirt combo, which is great. I do love a good, just plain shorts and t-shirt, but for the sake of a lookbook, I wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like with a third piece. Since it is a little warm outside still, I'm going to scrunch the sleeves up. This is actually from H&M. I have been finding the best printed sweatshirts and bomber jackets from there lately. I wanna be your lover Tied up and twisted around I wanna be your lover Till I'm on the ground I wanna be your man But you don't feel the same I feel it in your head
foreign land in a castle made of sand. No one wants me. No one wants me. white t-shirt video. I hope you loved it. I hope you learned something. I hope you got some amazing tips. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that is how I know you're loving them. Definitely share with your friends who have 100 white t-shirts and never wear them. This might give them a little bit of inspiration to know what to do with them. Everything is in the description and I even added some extra white t-shirts that um, I think you guys would love. So you have a whole list of them to choose from. I'm doing a lot of hand motions today. I'm sorry. I don't. I need to like on my hands so I stop waving them in the air. Oh, it's making me hot. I shouldn't do that. It is almost lookbook time. This Thursday I believe is the first so that is when my lookbook comes out. I'm so excited. There is gonna be um, in my vlog on Wednesday as you guys know I do a weekly vlog. So in my vlog I'm going to have all of the final details of the lookbook so you can finally go and check it out. I'm so excited. It's coming along great. I'm almost done with it. Um, so stay tuned for Wednesday and you'll get a whole list of things that you're gonna get with the lookbook. I promise you're not gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be so good. Go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Um, Lifebyher.co is where you can actually go sign up for updates on the lookbook. Um, so stay tuned for that and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Just to look into your eyes Her love is a